What's up guys, X11 here. We got a video on the Murray. As you can see, hands are nasty. We got the whole body tore off. And if we go look out here, still haven't gotten it yet. We had a big storm, winter storm, all kinds of trees fell. That one crushed that barn over there. Luckily nothing fell on the little sheds. <laughs> We got this, and in here is assorted bolts and pulleys and washers, and that means one thing. Got a flat side and a V. Two bolts to hold them. If I can grab it. Two collars. To space them and that's it so what we're going to be building is a new clutch yeah i got the old one tore off it's under there i don't know why i didn't start videoing i should have instantaneously but yeah we got all the uh, wiring and gas linings and what you not can disconnected and i'm going to redo all the wiring it's shot and uh Definitely get a new belt, because, yeah, that shouldn't look like that. So, I'm going to put an adjustable idler here. I'm going to cut this one off. I'm taking this one off, because my clutch has to go right there. So, we're going to have a nice, long couple episodes, or maybe just one, if I can do it fast enough. So, what i got to do now is, I'm uh, getting off this old... Uh, Old shift mount so I can get to the pulley real good. That's already loose. Huh. Check out my pulley to see how they look. Oops. Yeah. That one's still tight. Still got a little rust back up in here, but that's typical of how I treated this one more. And uh, the rest of it's actually in pretty good shape. Nice, oily, and black. That's how it should look. Not like, well, this isn't even rust. This wants rust, but it's like barely on the surface. Okay, we got two more bolts to add to our collection. And look at there, there's an old belt retainer. Right there. There's a bunch of powdery dust just fell everywhere. So, here's my pulley. You can tell it's already trying to drive. Yeah. Put it neutral. Right there it should be. Nope, that's first gear. Nope, that's seven. Wrong way. There's neutral. Yeah. And there's reverse. Yeah. Trying to go backwards. So I guess we'll just keep it neutral for now. So now what I gotta do is I gotta cut this off and cut that off. So get my little saw real quick. Let's see if I can set this up. My light to plug this in, but we can still do it. So I guess we'll start. This guy. Make sure there's no gas anywhere. No. No. No, I don't, I don't think we got gas anywhere, so I think we're okay. But just in case, I'm gonna switch sides. There we go. I always shoot sparks back the other way.
it didn't shut off. That freaked me out. Okay. Now that one's gone. It's a good idler pulley. It's definitely had its use. If I can focus on it. Come on. There it goes. It's really good. Still got good bearings in it. So, yeah. It's nice and shiny. So I'll probably reuse that. Well, that works. Let's see here. I'm trying to light it up a little. This one's going to be tricky because that was a good out of the pulley. I had all kinds of them on this side. I should not have welded that so solid. That's where I messed up. It's going to be a lot of metal right there. Huh. Oh well. Alright, I'm going to try and cut this off. I need two hands. Right. That's gone. Looks alright. Yeah. There's still a little bit of metal here. See? But, I don't think it'll interfere with what I gotta do, and if it does, I can just cut it off even more. Just take it up right through there. Put the grinding wheel on, and cut it off. So, now what we do is, I guess, build a clutch. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find some metal I can use for this. Okay. Just made this thing. It's really hot still, but I soaked it in water, so it's kind of just evaporating. So, that's, that's good. What I got now is a freaking good old, uh, what you call an alignment problem, but that's where I thought I had. And I bought these not knowing what I was gonna use them for. Let me open this real quick. There you go. Make it any harder to open something. So, the way it's gonna work, one pulley, two pulley, and pop this open. Ah, we're gone. Okay. We got our V-pole, oh, is the flat pulley. We got our V-pulley here. Good ball bearings in it. They're nice and tight. Oh yeah. So these holes aren't as big as my bolts. So I'm gonna have to drill them out, but that shouldn't be too hard. So plan is to get these aligned perfectly. This collar will sit right here, and that puts it at the same height as a piece of metal so get one more collar and it's about see how small my hole is i need it that much bigger to fit so it still doesn't sit right so i need one more collar to drop these down to the perfect height and i'd have one more collar so which means i'll need three collars unless i can find something to act as a collar which i can probably rob something off of something who knows let me open this bag. Oh, these are tight. So there's our second one. So the pulley will have a nice clearance. A good solid clearance. About like that. And then once I get the other collar for the other side, let me just set these down. It will look the same. Uh -huh. and they'll sit perfect so that's gonna be my actuator yeah or like that like about right here Something. so yeah and uh these bolts i got them at old tractor supply i got a uh, a lock washer with it to lock it down but how it's gonna work, we're gonna have the bolt fits nice and snug inside of there, like perfect. Yeah. So there's there's no wobble. It's tight. So I mean they don't move at all. So what the plan is, is once I get that on there, this will hit. So you put on your color. And you can lock it on there so the pulley can't move. And then it, it, I'm squeezing this collar on here and it spins nice. It spins really good. So now that you got your collar on, slip on your thing. 
which doesn't fit right yet. So drill that hole out. Yeah. Put on your lock washer and your nut. And torquing it down like that. So it'll look like well, if I can hold it all somewhat like that you get the idea if I can quit shaking so yeah something like that you know have good clearance so this is the new clutch for the Murray I'm redoing all the wiring on it redoing pretty much just doing a redo I tore off the old transmission right there it's got the busted gears this is the one off the racing mower. I said, screw it, I ain't building a racing mower, I want a Murray. This is what I cut those big chunks of metal off of. There's a big rack that went on that, that thing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this Murray's a lot more useful than that racing mower because it's, it's got these normal tires, or, like I have done now, I put chains on them and you can drive it through the mud or winter, snow. And it hauls like a son of a bitch. One thing I gotta do though is I gotta put a new. I guess the belt fell off the front. No? I don't get this though. I don't know why the belt would always come off. I mean, it's got a lot of space. Even after I, after I had all those tensioner pulleys, it still had a ton of room to, you know, do its thing. But definitely gotta get a new belt. This one is shot. Right there. I mean, it's just shredded all the way. I'm gonna finish the clutch. I'm gonna drill the holes out and get the pulleys mounted. Well, one of them at least, because I need one more collar. So, yeah, I'm gonna find a drill bit real quick and we'll film that. Hey, we got a drill bit. Hopefully enough power left to drill some holes. And it's a little smaller, but I can definitely wallow. Well, I'm just going to get a bigger drill bit. That one's not big enough. So, uh, yeah. I'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Dan Hicks 11. Thanks for watching. And comment. And like. And subscribe. So I can get out of this place. Because I'm stuck. Yeah. There you go. That's where she's hidden. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about the white truck. I got to move it. Son of a gun. All right. Well, yeah. See you all later. Be good. You can come with me if you want to. If the phone will let me record that long. Let's see here, she'll fire up. Oh yeah, that's old reliable for you. Okay, let's see where we're gonna go. Can't go around because a tree crushed the barn. And I can't go through this driveway because a tree fell across it. Well, it looks like I'm stuck. We can just drive into that. They're cruising now, son. Oh, it's still all pine needly and twat not. Ha, ha, twat. <laughs> Whoa, there's trees there. Okay, so here's the one that crushed the barn. You see it? That's fucked. There's another big one over there. But, yeah. but yeah, there's what's the roof look like, and that's bent. What the hell? We just laid the door over it, and <laughs> there you go. It's all closed. But I mean, this is a big branch that fell in my hand. There's two of them. So that sucks. Anyway, like I said, subscribe, like the video, comment, rate, and yeah. Look forward to the next Murray video.